welcome friends today's topic is about uh, how to draw coconut and uh, you know uh, to obtain the texture of coconut water the uh, it's a nice uh, gray um, to a white uh, structure uh, i mean texture uh, and uh, to paint that uh, we we'll use a little different technique uh, okay uh, we'll show some you know eyes uh, inside this glass so i'll just quickly roll on the uh, pencil on the drawing okay just to for you to understand because see i have covered a lot of drawings on this subject uh, like how to draw a glass how to draw a plate okay and this is a oval like this is like a cap which has been cut here and just put uh, here like this so this is a very simple uh, glass which you can do is just make a oval like this okay and see this is out of uh, Uh, glass so this is uh, very thick so you'll see always two um, ovals and see here the uh, distance will be more and here it will be less because of the perspective okay and then you draw a line like this or draw a line like this and this is somewhat like a hexagon okay uh, the base okay this is oval and the base is on hexagon or maybe a octagon Okay, a little bit from one, two, three, four sides. So that side also there will be some eight side. Uh, sorry, four more sides. So uh, say a uh, octagon like this. Okay, and then <coughs> so to draw this glass is not a very difficult process. You have to do these lines, these lines, these lines, these lines like this. Same way here, 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 like this. Okay, and then uh, just to differentiate between the two. Uh, that they are little apart uh, i did not show the overlap because i wanted to paint the whole thing but then how do i show that uh, you know which one is in the front and which one is at the back so if you see the base of this and the base of this there is a little difference so this is little ahead so it appears that so this is little ahead of this uh, place and say then i just made a small straw to be placed between so that you know we have a differentiation between the two Okay, now once that is over, this is like a circular portion, and this is like a lemon uh, piece, a uh, lemon slice which has been cut, and then you know attached uh, to it like a clip uh, here. Okay, so I think the drawing is very clear. So let me now first do uh, <coughs> something for the uh, the glass part. Okay, so let me uh, take. Uh, I'm doing a little different technique here. Is I'm taking a little bit of white acrylic paint like this. Okay, there's a white acrylic paint, and then with a uh, say a flat brush, uh, okay, uh, just to uh, obtain some you know highlights here, uh, like this maybe, and just applying a little bit of white like this in various directions, somewhere like this, okay, somewhere. You know, little flat like this, submerged in the juice, or uh, oh, sorry, coconut water. Okay. A little bit of thing will be seen from here also. Okay, I'm putting some more uh, like uh, there is some, you know, ice which is suspended in the liquid, like this. So that is how we just uh, uh, paint a few of them here, uh, here. Like this, okay. Just to show some ice cubes which are there. So though this white will not be visible much now, uh, when we progress with the painting, that you will understand why this has been done. Okay, uh, it will do a three D effect also like this. Okay, so we'll take some more uh, acrylic paint. Uh, in, in any acrylic paint will do. It's not uh, required that. It should be of some specific grade or something like that. Okay, and then like this, do for the ice cubes. And uh, these things, uh, when we uh, when you actually paint, you have to have that you know, figure in mind. Okay, because uh, without that, you will not uh, be able to really do this uh, because. Uh, there's a lot of imagination work which is required here. Okay, let's see. Here I'm showing an uh, uh, ice cube which is in you know, coming out of uh, water like this, uh, like this one. I can show. Okay, like it's floating on the surface of the water. Okay, like this. So once this is done, I'll just clean the brush uh, 
put back whatever extra paint which is there like this they have just put back the paint like this and then it will clean the mic also so if you see now there you can see a few bit of highlights which has developed so see they have to dry otherwise what will happen is when we try to paint over it uh, the um, paint uh, will uh, you know get mixed with the white okay so now let me keep a jar of water as usual this is a you know a dropper bottle there's fresh water in this and this comes very handy so here what i will do now is uh, finish up the coconut part here like this okay so once this is done uh, let me take my brushes okay i'll take a relatively uh, bigger size brush maybe, uh, maybe a 12 size round Okay, and the synthetic one and uh, we don't get some very good sable brushes nowadays in the market so you know we can do I mean, the okay painting we can do with uh, um, you know synthetic brushes also so I'll put a little bit of water here like this uh, and then take a little bit of um, green okay and over uh, here what i will do is um, take the yellow also along with it separately okay and then actually uh, see like this if you see yellow is separate uh, green is separate here okay so what we'll do is uh, just touch the yellow like this okay and then on the other side the green a little bit like this okay and then start doing strokes in this direction like this so uh, here you'll find a very nice, um, you know, grade of color developing where, you know, where the yellow is there, uh, more on the brush, that portion's uh, looking much, much brighter yellow. Okay, the rest is coming out green. So again, see, I'll take some green here, like this. Okay, this is sub green. Uh, okay, uh, and then uh, just a little bit of yellow, like this, sorry. So, a bit, uh, a color like this. Okay, so it's like uh, you know, a mix of color uh, where uh, you'll find a little bit of bright color which is there. Like you see again, same thing, same method I'm doing here. Okay, and see uh, if at the end I have to go a little darker. So see, I, I'm not mixing both the colors uh, together so that uh, you know I don't get a very uniform colors. Like that, because that is uh, not uh, expected here. You want the texture right uh, uh, rather than uh, mixing both the colors doing a lot of layering work or something like that, one or the other. But then uh, this way you'll find the, uh, the, the yellows and the greens also nice and separate. Okay, so let's do a little bit more here with the base, some places here, like this random spokes, uh, like this. Okay. So this like, you know, let, let the color go up, come down like this. Give you a natural, um, those uh, fiber strokes to the whole bullet uh, shell. So I'll take a little bit of uh, burnt umber here and then I'll put that some places to make it look a little darker like this. Okay. So some places here also to give that uh, look of that it has dried uh, in some place okay especially here uh, like uh, we can do uh, you know you can put a little bit of one tumber also uh, one sienna also sorry you can take a little bit of one sienna okay and a mix of one tumber and in that if i mix a little bit of blue also you get a fairly darker color like this see this blue or dark okay i'll take one here uh, burnt umber like this just keep mixing see uh, i have colored this first and uh, for it to dry uh, so that uh, you know so by that time we finish the rest of the part okay so the idea is not to waste a lot of time in this. but then in watercolors to do little bit of color mixing in there to obtain the correct texture it takes uh, a bit of effort 
like this. So now let me see some places uh, where I can put at the base a little bit of you know, darker color like this. And uh, just looking, see the green is getting mixed uh, automatically uh, like on its own because that is also a, a little bit of, you know, what you call, um, it's, it's a wet, uh, uh, the surface. So because of that, uh, you'll find that uh, you know, the green uh, is also popping out from the color. Okay. I can take a little bit of burnt sienna also, okay, and then put somewhere here like this to get some strokes like this here. Okay. So I think we are. Um, going fine about this uh, and uh, then uh, we can also put a little bit of uh, a medium yellow or uh, say a deep uh, yellow which is called as Indian yellow in uh, India uh, so it's like this and then I can just put this uh, paint here like this just a little bit of uh, and then allowing it to uh, it mixed it with the so I'm just dragging the paint uh, on the greens okay so that uh, like if you have seen the, if you are actually you know really studied uh, my uh, earlier drawings uh, there I had uh, did this technique uh, where uh, you know I put yellow uh, on even see a red uh, portion and then how the yellow see it, it is displacing that uh, uh, displacing the green. Okay. Now let me do uh, here a much much brighter color. Okay. And let again the same way we'll travel to this. We'll do is one more thing, and that is uh, that. Uh, One more thing, sorry. Uh, one more thing, where you know, if the say the the um, this coconut has fallen from the tree, the coconut tree, there will be some dent marks on it. So we'll show them also like that. Okay. So say somewhere right here, uh, I think where can I show them? Okay, I can show some back here. So we can take a little bit of black uh, here. Okay, and then uh, mix it up uh, with. See, I'm not mixing uh, the color to black. I'm mixing black to the color so that you know, I get some control over the color of black. Because then otherwise it will look uh, very, very blackish. So I can have a random strokes like this. It should appear that you know it has fallen from top and then it has hit the ground. So because of that, uh, there are some marks uh, like this. Um, so say somewhere here also, a very random spokes like this. Uh, we can have somewhere here also a little distribution here and there. Okay, and then uh, you can just uh, uh, to let the colors go through the paint. Okay, so let me just clean the brush a little bit uh, and then just pull this color a little. Yeah, see, I get some very nice bright highlights also. Okay, or uh, you know, it's uh, it, that is what is the beauty of watercolor that when you um, use such techniques, uh, you uh, or see experiment uh, rather not use, you can say experiment uh, these techniques, you'll find some very nice, beautiful colors of the paint. Okay, so we'll do a little more darker here, like this. This, uh, I can put uh, well, I want it a little orangish. Brown, uh, here are some places like uh, ah, see this. This is what is the color I'm expecting. So, see that is what I'm saying that uh, you have to experiment with color, okay, like this. So once you do these ones uh, like this, uh, yeah, okay. So I think this part is uh, almost finished. Now we um, can take a little bit of white. Uh, and uh, mix it up with 
a little bit of Bansiana uh, to do the top portion of this. Okay, so this is Bansiana again. If you see, I am adding a darker color to a lighter color, which should be the procedure. And slowly, slowly, I am pulling this color in this. Okay, you can see. So I got a very beautiful texture like this. Okay, but then uh, I find that it is uh, too much of a brown. So um, I can add a little bit of yellow to bring that color down like this. Okay, so once uh, you see, yeah, this is what is, uh, I want this one. Okay, like this, and I can keep adding a little bit of white here. See, I get that uh, like uh, when uh, the coconut uh, is peeled, uh, not peeled off, like say with a knife, uh, the top layer is removed, so you find uh, a little bit of color. It is developing uh, like this, uh, which may not be very much yellowish, but then the color like this. See. So, see, I can again um, do one more procedure of applying a little bit of water here, like this, uh, and this, and then, and then just do just let, the, let this color flow through this. So I'm finding it that it has become a lot of brownish, uh, oh, sorry, yellowish. So I can just take that, uh, yeah, color. Let's see. Just apply some places here like this. Same way, some places here like this. Uh, somewhere at the edge, like this. Some places here. We have a lot of sparrows here, so you um, you must be hearing the chirping of sparrows or the birds. So let me clean the brush now, and then just drag this color a little bit, like you see. So I get a, a, a lighter tone of the color. Okay, so like by now you must have understood that uh, to do tonal effects in watercolor you have to add water to it not white okay so see uh, here i put uh, some color in that place uh, and then okay, so this like a uh, like a notch sort of thing here which is there uh, like say this is at this angle and this is at this angle so you'll find this a little bright somewhere here also like that okay and then Like this. Okay, so once this is done, we can just do clean out the whole thing a little bit. Uh, and uh, I am trying not to use uh, white to, to the whole color. Okay, so let me just clean, uh, like lift the color a bit with the uh, rag like this so that. This becomes a little lighter. Think you can apply pressure as per required and see. So you get a very nice textured effect like this. Okay, uh, you see, you can do this thing with a tissue also, but then with tissue, you will not get uh, the effect you know, uh, like this dot dots which are there because that dots uh, you get uh, when. Uh, you get uh, like it's like the cloth texture dots which keep coming. This is like this, and this two, and this it is. And because the Nayan Pani has been removed, so. You know, very light of color. Let the color move into that. See, like this. Okay. So, 
I'm not going to try a little bit now. So it's all doing the final uh, So now let's come to the glass. I think the, this paint has already tried. So there are two things uh, which I want to show you. Is um, like, see here I've taken cobalt blue and uh, balsian. Okay, I'll put some water like this to obtain a gray. Okay, and it's not a black and white gray. So, see why I am showing you this technique first is scissors blue. Okay, I'm just pulling a little bit of burnt sienna in that, and you see the gray uh, effects has started. See the beautiful gray which has come like this. Okay, so we can just keep doing mixing of color like this here. Okay, and then uh, once we do this uh, mix, okay. Um, and that how you have to do a mix that you have to keep for uh, seeing as the best uh, how you know, which color is the best. So you know, after that, if you see, this is what is the, I'm just showing it on a on a on my sketchbook like this. See, we get a color like this three, okay. So which is also a very beautiful color. If I keep you know mixing more of blue in this you'll find that the bluishness starts appearing can you see this here it is darkened a little bit also like this so this is how we obtain these grays but uh, and say if i put a little bit of white in this uh, okay uh, or white so i'll get a, a very nice beautiful uh, grays like this Okay, see. But then, uh, see, uh, here though, you, you must have seen these colors. See, these are quite nice grays which get developed. Okay, you can keep adding a little bit of it and you'll see the way the gray has got developed. Okay, like this, you'll see. Okay, but then um, I have a different plan in place. Pines gray is a very nice, beautiful bluish gray color. It is uh, you know, almost equal to what uh, we have mixed. So, um, say when I have this uh, bluish gray color, pines gray with me, I can just uh, you know, mix it. Uh, I mean, I just added water. So you see the beautiful gray. Which is there so uh, if at all if you see that uh, it 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 will be almost equal to that see but a much um, lighter blue or gray without actually adding white and that is how it gets uh, resembled uh, to the uh, corporate water okay so let me add like this see now whenever i have did a little bit of uh, If you remember uh, this acrylic paint, uh, there you'll find that the color uh, is getting resisted like this. So, see here, uh, there's no much effort as such when it comes to you know, really painting directly with fine spray. Okay, and you see it uh, gives the effect of you know there are some ice cubes inside this like this so when i just roll the brush over this is when you'll find that uh, the whole ice cube effect uh, just started popping out okay so once that happens you can go with the detailing of this glass like this okay so Keep going. This, you, you see the way the whites are appearing now. Okay, like they, they are giving the, the effect of a suspended uh, ice uh, in water. So I will go a little darker now. Fine spray. Okay, uh, at the bottom a little bit. Okay, like this. And between the ice cubes like this, a little bit here, here, just to show some shadow effects like this. Do vertical coloring, okay? 
and then you just color with this off. So this is how uh, we can get some very nice, bright effects of ice. Okay, so now let's do the next part, and that is uh, a little darker at some places where the ice is. Getting in some different direction like this. So here, see here you see these type of uh, effects coming. Okay. So once that happens, we can just lower the brush again like this. Again like this. So you will not get uh, the coconut water so dark as such, but then see, uh, once it dries, that is a time when Okay, so this was the uh, basic thing in this drawing where uh, uh, how you get uh, the ice cubes uh, popping out uh, from the glass. Okay, and then uh, we can just do. Now, when it dries, wherever you want, uh, you can put. Uh, Sort of dark colors, light colors, like that. Okay. Uh, that is up to you. So, you see, once we have painted, my idea of uh, doing only this much part of the drawing uh, was uh, that uh, to explain you as to how you know, uh, you know, we get this uh, ice cube effects uh, in the glass. Okay, the rest. Uh, when uh, the final drawing will be there, ready, I'll put it in the thumbnail so you'll be able to see the drawings in its final form. Okay, like say this plate, these are generic uh, paintings, these are generic things. Main thing is how to paint a purple and how to paint this uh, you know, ice cubes, uh, uh, I mean the coconut water filled with uh, ice cubes. Okay, and uh, see here I can do a little bit of uh, white uh, texturing. Uh, where uh, near the top, where uh, I can get the see if it like this, okay, uh, to get the whole uh, texture in place. A very light, light color like this, okay. So here also you can just pull the color down. From here, we can pull the color down. Maybe. You see, slowly, slowly, the whole texture of the coconut water starts developing. You see, after you do this um, part, uh, like the bottom will look much brighter. So, I think you can put a little bit of white color there, okay, like this here. You just can hear the bright whites which are there, like this. Okay, uh, the bright whites which are there here, like this. So that is how you obtain uh, the whites here. So I think the rest part uh, I'll finish. Uh, I don't think you really uh, need the uh, demo of that because uh, such type of very you know, generic things like plate, uh, these small things, the background, okay, all uh, uh, have been done in various of my previous drawings. So I just don't want to repeat them. You can go to those drawings. Uh, which is there available in my channel and you'll find that uh, because here the two basic things was uh, how to paint so this coconut water with ice cubes and that and then the, uh, the, the coconut okay so you can get this uh, see now the texture is developing so nice 
to give the ice cube in place. Okay, so I think I can end the drawing here, uh, and uh, you should uh, do practice uh, the final drawing, uh, which I'll put up a little later. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you very much for for watching. Do share it with your family and friends, and do give me a like if you like the drawing. Thank you very much.